Okay, let's come into our mountain pose for our warm up. See what we can do for our spine today. So, crown to the ceiling, core activated with those ribs toward your spine and up. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, and shoulders relaxing down. Take a moment to get that breath focus, breathing in through the belly, the ribs, and the collarbones, filling your whole lungs, and then exhaling completely all the way back down, sinking in the belly, closing out the breath. And just take a few moments getting that inner centering, and then bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Clasp your fingers, lift your heart, stretch your head back. Take a moment and breathe, and then pivot at your hips, exhale on over. Hands toward the ceiling, move your chin around as your head comes down. Start releasing that neck. Lift your sitting bones. Get the legs stretching a little bit more. And then slightly bend your knees, keep the chin in, slightly and wind from the bottom of the spine up. Lift your heart as you get to the top, pull your shoulders down, stretch your head back. So really get that lengthening through your spine. And then on an inhalation, come back upright, release your arms, and just focus on what you are doing this morning. And again, reach the arms at shoulder level. Hands to your heart, keep that chest open with the elbows slightly back. Inhale to the front, and then exhale the hands behind you. Switch them one position over with the fingers to clasp the other. Stretch out through the base of your spine, all the way to the crown, even while you're back bending. And then exhale on over. Hands coming up, letting those shoulders get a little bit more release. Take a breath, deepen as far as you'd like. And then knees bent, slowly work back up. Heart high, shoulders down, head back, and lengthen again into the back bend. Take a moment and breathe, lifting your heart. Inhale to the top, release your arms. Just take a moment feeling the circulation. And then really stretch the spine apart and just gently side to side. And on the inhale, getting that spine a little bit more loosened. So follow your hands one side to the other. Keep lengthening up through the crown. Make sure you're not gripping with your toes. Keep breathing. And then back to the center. And we'll bring the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Keep those shoulders down and clasp your hands over your head. Bring the arms by your ears and stretch through your fingertips. Keep the body facing the front as you lean over to the side for that side stretch. Push the foot you're leaning away from down to a little bit more opening through the ribs. You can lean. Uh, look slight, slightly up so that you're not leaning forward and just feel that whole side lengthen. Inhale back up, switch the hand, other one to the front. And again, keep the shoulders down, lean facing forward to the opposite side. Push the foot down, reach out through your hands and just maximize for your body into that side stretch on this side. Take a breath, relax it. Inhale back to the center, shoulders stay down, and arms up to shoulder level, and all the way down to your spine. Feel the spine getting a little bit more activated from our side stretches, and then really stretch them apart again, another twist. So bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, reach the head out, and the sitting bones down, get those spines open and twist. Just lengthen up as you breathe in, pivot over as you exhale. Deepen as far as you'd like, check your feet, 
See if your weight is still on both feet as evenly as you can while you're twisted to one side. And then stay in the twist, weight on both feet as you come down up and lift your heart. Stretch your head and hands back or elbows back. <clears throat> Shoulders go down toward your waist. So lengthening through the whole spine, sitting bones one way, core on the other. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. And again, lengthen that spine through the twist to the other side. Another breath, and exhale over. Just take a moment there, breathing. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. Take a few breaths. Just relaxing. Check that your weight is even as you come back up on both feet. And again, as you get to the top in the twist, lift your heart, making sure you're gentle in that low back, not overdoing it while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms up into extended mat and pose. Stretch high on one side, coming up on your opposite toes, lifting that heel. Side you're stretching, that foot is flat. Release that one, do the other side. Again, the heel comes up and the other foot stays flat. And then both hands, both feet down, both hands up. Swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, pivot at your hips and just stretch out parallel to the floor. And then drop in the rag doll, just hang. Lift your sitting bones, tucking your chin a little bit. Push your hip down toward the floor, maybe a little bit more. Kneecaps toward your thighs, tighten the front of your thighs, let the back of your legs stretch a little bit more. And then slide your hands up under your knees, straighten your knees, your elbows, and your spine, halfway up stretch. Lengthen. Breathe. Exhale back into ragdoll. And let those arms hang as you slowly work up from the bottom of the spine, winding all the way back to the top and into mountain pose. As you get into mountain pose, just take a moment to feel your spine a little bit more activated. And don't forget, don't forget to breathe. Shoulders back and down. Step a little wide. <clears throat> We're going to pivot at the hip joint, if I can talk. Push the steady bones just slightly back. Come parallel to the floor with your whole body. And then slide your hands down towards your ankles. Press just gently into your shins with your palms, out through the crown. So keep your back as straight as you can and stretch it really apart. And then lift your ribs slightly, tuck your chin in and round, bringing your head back towards your legs. It's a nice rounding. Take a moment there, just breathe. And then inhale, bring your head back to the front and again into that straight position. And then drop your ribs and look to the front. Shoulder blades towards your waist, so a little bitty back bend while you're in this position, just dropping the ribs, chest open, and slightly looking forward. And then again, come back to straight, stretch it out. Drop your hands to the floor, <clears throat> right under your shoulders, either fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. Or use a book or block to raise the floor if you need to, or keep your hands on your legs. We're just gonna do a twist. So again, sitting bones and crowns stretch away. Keep the right hand on your leg or the floor, bring the left arm out and follow it up toward the ceiling. So the arms are straight across from each other as much as you can as you come into that twist, your whole body turning, looking toward the side. Take a breath, just relax. Stretch out through the crown, through the sitting bones. Maybe go a little deeper. You can slide that hand over toward the left foot as the hand goes back a little further behind you, if that works for you. Take a breath. 
throat you out. And then <clears throat> straight up and down with the hands and follow that hand from the air back all the way down to your leg or the floor, right under your shoulder. And again, stretch out the spine. We're going to twist, of course, to the other side. Hand down, arm out to the opposite side. And again, follow it toward the ceiling. Turn your whole body. That chest should be facing toward the side as you get into that fully extended position. Stay there or go further, lifting, moving that chest a little further toward the ceiling in the twist if that works for your body. Keep stretching the sitting bones one way and the crown the opposite, keeping those bones apart so they have room to twist. And then straight back up and down and looking at the hand in the air, follow it back all the way down and again to the floor or your legs. Stretch it out, sitting bones and crowns stretching apart. Hands to your legs, slide all the way back up, pivoting and stepping in the mountain pose. Take a moment, feel that spine more activated. And again, stretch the spine apart and we'll windmill one more time. So just reaching to the side, Keep that crown reaching up, sitting bones down, really moving those bones apart for the twist. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then back to the center, find your mountain pose. Get stable and oriented for our balance practice. So remember, Lift your toes, get that ball of the foot area, base of the toes connected. Lift the arch, get the whole bottom of the foot down and then spread the toes, no gripping. Ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder lined up. Make sure that knee is going toward your second toe direction. Keep the knee coming up and the front of your thigh tightening so the back of the leg is nice and supportive and straight. Or activated, ribs toward your spine and up. Check your toes, make sure they're not gripping. That gives you better support when those base of the toes support you and those toes don't grip. Keep that thigh rolled in, leg rolled in on the opposite so your foot doesn't cross over as you bring it up a little or more or pull it in. And again, just as high as it wants to go for your balance today, step out and in if you need to. And then when you're stable, circle your ankle both ways. Shoulders relaxed, crown reaching up, sitting bones toward the floor. Flex and point and release. Take a breath, exhale, balance, stress. And of course, shift what worked to the other side and improve the rest. Toes up, base of the toes, ball of the foot, and the whole bottom of your foot connected. Get that arch lifting so the outside of your foot is supporting you as much as the base of the toes. Sitting bones down, core activated, shoulders relaxing, crown up, and again, toes spreading out, giving you just the base, not gripping. And the other toes come up a little or more, or pull it in. And again, find your stability, and then Work your ankle. Breathe in and relax as you work. Circle both ways. Flex and point. And release. Take a moment and breathe as you get back into mountain pose. Just feel that core all activated. Stretch your spine apart a little bit more. And bring your arms to shoulder level. Turn the palms up. Look overhead and bring your palms together. As they touch, bring them back into that back bend, lifting your heart a little further, but keep stretching out through the top of your head, out through the sitting bones, so that you're stretching even in your back bend. Exhale, follow the hands to your heart. Pivot on over into ragdoll. Take a moment and breathe. Slide your hands up under your knees into that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, 
and spine straight. Stretch it out again. Exhale and release, arms to the floor, knees bent, chin in. Slowly wind all the way back to standing and shoulders back and down into mountain pose. Turn your toe back slightly, bend your knees, hands above your knees, position don't support. We're going to bring the shoulder across to that opposite knee. So remember those city bones and crown reach away, base of the skull out as you keep that spine stretch for this little bitty twist. Push the sitting bone one way and the shoulder toward the opposite knee. Really lengthen through that spine in this little bitty twist. And then back to the center. Stretch it out again and bring the shoulder across. Push the sitting bone the opposite direction. And again, come into that as much as you want. Feel those ribs stretch. Feel that spine open. Take a breath. Maybe go a little deeper. Remember, your whole body slightly turns as you do these twists. And then rotating back, facing the floor. And once more, rotate all the way back up. Shoulders. Oh, let's bring them around a few times in that way. <clears throat> and then we're going to go into our pelvic twist. And again, work the spine as we're doing it. So angle the toes out, knees toward the toes, not beyond, hands above. Remember, you're not pressing into those knees ever. You're just positioning your shoulders above the toes. Stretch the spine long and straight as you start. Keep that core activated. And then we'll go into the back bend. So pull the ribs forward, push the sitting bones back, chest to the front, we'll look forward. And chin slightly out, but not too much. You don't want to crunch the back of your neck. And then <clears throat> lift the ribs, tuck the sitting bones down and forward. Chin slightly in towards your chest just to get that concavity through the abdominal area looking down. And again, inhale into the back bend. Ribs really drop in. Exhale, lift those ribs, tuck the sitting bones, chin slightly in. And breathe with it, inhaling into the back bend, really lengthening the spine. Exhaling, lengthening the spine as you come into the forward again, always stretching those bones apart, letting them move. And then the next time you're forward, just inhale your way back up to standing and into mountain pose. And again, as you get into mountain pose, just take a moment focusing on all that spine energy working through your whole body, really lengthening through the spine. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, overhead, swan dive forward, pivoting at your hips, stretch it out and drop into right dog. Bend your knees, coming all the way to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips to your heels, forehead down toward the floor, shoulders relax. Stretch that spine apart <clears throat> a little bit more. Take a few breaths. Exhaling any tension. Forehead coming down as far as it wants. And then inhaling, sit up. And let's come into that position. Sitting bones slightly behind you, spine stretching apart, shoulders relaxing down. And don't forget to breathe. So we're going to work the neck and shoulders. So you can stay in staff position, or you can come into just a cross-legged position, whatever feels good for you. Sitting bones slightly behind you, core active. And stretching up through the crown as you're in either position. Keep those shoulders always relaxing down, shoulder blades toward your waist. Really stretch the spine apart, but we're only going to move the neck area this time. Chin into that little notch at the base of your throat. So let the back of your neck get a good stretch. Keep your shoulders above your hips, whichever seated position you're in. And just relax, letting that chin just 
sink deeper into that indentation. Take a breath, relax. And then bring your hands up, add weight, not pressure, just adding a little bit of weight so that that stretch happens a little bit gently. Take a breath, exhale. Remember, when you release those exhalations, that lets things stretch more through those ligaments. Deep breath, shoulders above your hips, not rounding the rest of your back, just letting the neck do the work. Take a breath, exhale it out. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back up. Feel the back of your neck, keep lengthening. So bring that base of the skull really high and then lift your chin slightly. Look up, but keep looking, lifting out through the base of your skull so it's not getting all clenched in the back of your neck. And then again, bring your hands up to your forehead this time. Again, no pressure, just a little weight, letting it lengthen as you stretch out. Keep the shoulders down, shoulder blades toward your waist, base of the skull reaching out, even as you do this little stretch. And then releasing your hands, tip the chin back up and relax. Switch your legs if you're in the cross-leg position. Otherwise, remember, keep pushing out through the bottoms of your feet through the heels. Feel your neck, let it soften and relax. Keep the shoulders sinking down. We're gonna keep both shoulders down as you tip your ear to one side. Now remember, as you do that, you wanna let this other side relax and stretch. So just allow it to release. Keep those shoulders both toward the floor, shoulder blades down toward your waist. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up. Again, no pressure. Just a little extra weight, letting that stretch happen a little bit further if it wants to. Just keep breathing and exhaling and relaxing. And if you like that, you can bring the other hand to the floor. Fingertips or palm down, whatever works. Just giving it a little extra stretch through that side. Exhale, relax. And then the hand, if it's down, bring it back to your lap. The one that's up, bring it back down. And tip your head back upright. Notice the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we need to balance things out. Let's switch the legs again if you're cross-legged. And settle in. Stretch it up, ear over to the opposite side. And again, just relaxing, ear toward your shoulder, breathing and relaxing. The side you're tipping toward, you can bring that hand up. But remember, no pressure, just a little weight. Shoulders are down, shoulder blades toward your waist. Just allowing that exhalation to release things a little more. Bring the other hand to the floor only if you want to. And get a little extra stretch if that works for you today. Deep breath, just maximizing for your body. And then hand back up, and the other one exhaling down. Tip your head back upright. Again, feel the sides of your leg. And then one more time, switch your legs around. Bring the chin into that little Jugular notch indentation. Let the back of your neck stretch. And then roll your chin over toward one shoulder. Look up toward the ceiling. Rotate, looking your whole face up toward the ceiling. And then look toward the other side. Bring the chin down to your shoulder. Roll it back into the center. One more time that same way. Over to the shoulder up toward the ceiling, in toward the center, 
over toward the other shoulder, down toward the shoulder, and around into that center. Keep the shoulders above your hips and roll the other way. Chin toward the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, over to the middle, over to the other side, down to the shoulder, roll it in toward your chest and the middle. Same direction, over to the shoulder, up to the ceiling, roll it to the middle, over to the other side, down to the shoulder, and all the way to the middle of your chest. Lift your chin, stretch your arms out, and your legs to the front, and bring your feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones behind you, core activated, and roll slowly to the floor. Take a moment there, get your arms out to position, palms up or down, just for a little twist. Bend your knees, heels in by your hips, sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, pressing your back down. Lift your feet, knees fall right above your hips, and roll the story just at the side at hip level. Turn your head toward the opposite side. Keep both shoulders down on the floor. And just let your twist happen as much as it wants to. Take a breath and relax. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Knees above your hips once more. And straighten things out if you need to. And then roll the knees over to the other side. Again, knees coming down. On one side, head turning toward the opposite side, shoulders both down toward the floor. Take a breath. Just exhale. And then hips, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, feet to the floor, sliding out, and coming into our final relaxation in corpse position. Shoulders down. Hands, palms up, toes together, just let them release and relax. Oh, lower body just softening and sinking, shoulders relaxing. Stretch that spine apart one more time. And as you exhale, let your body soften and sink. Deepen into that earth support and let your body go. As you breathe deeply, just allow your focus to turn inward, releasing any tension anywhere in the spine, in the neck, in your body. As your body softens, just let it grow heavier, sinking deeper into that earth embrace. Allow awareness of your body to release from your mind, letting all the thoughts flowing into your mind release as well. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce the thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. Allow your focus to turn inward, your thoughts to float away, your body to sink into the earth, and your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward, follow the peace, filling your body, filling your mind, just being peace.
And of course, if you have longer to keep relaxing, just relax it so long as your opportunity today. If it's time to return, getting ready for the rest of your day, just try to energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the room, to your body. Begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing more full and stretching more completely as you're ready to do so. And when you're ready for that, finally give a hug of appreciation. Draw your sitting bones toward your heels, and your heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however is feeling right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, and roll into the side, sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me. Happy New Year.